All right, here we go. Let's do this. All right, what are we doing first? You are in charge of me. Uh, then do the title and the episode number. <laughs> Bryantology? Sure. All right. <clears throat> or bar barely legal chat? <laughs> no, Bryantology is funny. No, I bet bi bi barely legal is better SEO. <laughs> Uh, the hatening, <laughs> bam testicles. One hundred percent not racist. Testicles. All right, bam testicles or one hundred percent not not racist. I like that one. I like the second one. All Old right, black guy approved. All right, here we go. This is NSFW episode one hundred seventy four, recorded on shoot. April 16th. Right. This is NSFW episode... Hold on. <laughs> this is NSFW episode 174, recorded on April 16th, 2013. 100%. No, I don't want to do that one. Not racist. That's what it is. Not racist? Then racist. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you can't, no, you can't say that. <laughs> Here we go. All right. <clears throat> This is NSFW episode 174, recorded on April 16th, 2013. Not racist. So there, if you were thinking otherwise, look at those shoes. My feet. Look at my feet. Are those your feet, Justin? Show me your feet. I have a mole on my hand. I'm kidding. It's you not. It's I, I, I hit my hand with a hammer. Why does a camera direct down there? Uh, uh, you know, so that I can show up my iPad. Oh, okay. Sure. Oh, look at that cute cat. Yeah. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, oh my. On this episode of NSFW Show, we are joined by this week in YouTube hosts, Chad OMG Johnson and Lamar Wilson. We go over our brand new album, Night Attack 2, Enjoy the Garden, releasing this Saturday, April 20th, and find out if we're racist or not. Also, a horrifying video from the past of one of our guests is revealed as they turn red with embarrassment. It all comes up now on NSFW. No, nobody could hear that, apparently. Apparently, the mic battery had a problem. No, no I had you turned down so you couldn't interfere. Ah, oh, oh, so you okay. caught it. Nice. Well, so no, that no. was recorded locally, but not, but Brian couldn't hear it. No. Brian <laughs> was saying he was playing something. No, no, no. I was not. The, no, the, the chat room's exploding that, 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 that it wasn't recorded, that, that we couldn't hear Justin. Can you hear oh. me now? Yeah. Sorry about that. Do it again. All right. On this edition of NSFW Show, we are joined by this week in YouTube hosts, Chad OMG Johnson and Lamar Wilson. We go over our brand new album, Night Attack 2, Enjoy the Garden, releasing this Saturday, April 20th, and find out whether or not we're racist from a real live black guy. Also, a horrifying video from the past of one of our guests is revealed. Who is it? What does it say? It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW show. Oh, is it a feet show off now? <laughs> like how you have a naked me on one of your monitors. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a Dell Ultra Sure before three. <laughs> you, you all, I am not getting second bill. I, I don't have an ego. It's no. okay. We're all the friends here. The chat room was concerned. It's like, it doesn't matter. Uh, all right, here we go. Let me read the billboards. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create a professional website, blog, portfolio, or online store. Check out their new commerce solution so you can start selling stuff immediately. For a free trial and 10% off your first purchase on new accounts, go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW4. And ting! 
Ting is a new moob. His new moob? Moobal. A moobal phone service. Hello. I'm Dustin. I would like to talk to you about mobile phone services. And Ting.com. Ting is a new mobile phone service that makes sense. Save money with Ting. Pay for what you use, doesn't require a contract, and offers unlimited devices on one pooled plan. To save $25 on your first Ting device, visit NSFW.Ting.com. That's NSFW.Ting.com. Adbot never say moobal. Who's the adbot? I don't know. That's what people are saying in the chat room. Oh. I don't know what half of the things that they say out of their crazy mouths. I just yeah. repeat it. Okay, okay. You know what? There's a lot of weird rumors I've been hearing, and let's just put them to rest, Justin. People have talked about a bunch of made up characters from Fairyland who never existed. People like Adbot, Ad Dragon, or I, I feel uncomfortable with you saying that Ad Dragon's from Fairyland, by the way. Uh, you know what? He is. He's a member. He's part of the Fey. He's part of the Dua de Danon. And I don't believe him. He doesn't exist. He's not a real thing. He and showed up live to our show. No, he didn't. Okay, look, you're part of this delusion that everyone has that there ever was an ad dragon. I thought I was pretty freaking clear about this thing from the beginning. Every time you said, Brian, I think I saw me an ad dragon. I was like, shut up. There ain't no ad dragons. It's not a real thing. And you're like, no, Brian, he had like a mask, looked like a luchador. And I was like, shut up, luchadors don't exist neither. And then I hit you around until you got your head right. And then we realize that you have always done the ads, Justin. Of course. There's never been a time that you have not done the ads. And I don't understand why you keep making up these characters that you keep claiming are doing the ads for you. You've always done the ads. They've always been perfect, and everyone has always loved them. Can we let these fantasies go? Because I'm tired of it. It's BS. You have a problem, and you need to let this delusion vanish. <laughs> Sounds legit. I like turtles. <laughs> as long as we're on the same page on this, because I like turtles too. I All love right. them. I'll tell you what, I've come up with a turtle and I'm like, hey, buddy, you want to, you want to co sign for a loan? With me? There never was an ad dragon. Stop it, chat room. Chat room's over there like, oh, I, I like the ad dragon. Why are you making fun of it? There was no ad dragon. It's a figment of your collective imagination. All right, stop it. People are saying that Brian Brushwood is a character portrayed by Justin Robert Young. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Can you uh, prove that it's not? Uh, okay, you find me one reference to the Ad Dragon that predates 1776. That's all I'm saying. If you could do that, I'll believe he's real. Boom. Find me one reference to the Ad Dragon pre-1776, and then we're on the same page. But you know what? You can't, and you won't, and you don't, because he doesn't exist. People saying in the chat room, click clack, I live alone. My name is the Ad Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Not at all. Uh, man, I'll tell you what, Lamar, you're a really good sport to put up with our horse crap shenanigans. Oh, oh dude, I Racist. loved it. I, I had no idea what to expect. I, I didn't even know you didn't use a, a script or outline. So I was like, Chad was like, no, you don't need anything. They're just going to tear you a new one. <laughs> Pretty much. I would be like, we're mean, <laughs> like, though. I mean, we're mean to Chad, but Chad's part of the family. Yeah. Oh, and I'm not part of the family now? Uh, well, obviously, uh, we just well. met you. And why wouldn't he be part of the family? Yeah, explain this to me. Why wouldn't I be well, part of the know, family? Well, you know, Lamar, here's the problem, is that we have what we like to refer to as a bit of a traditional family. Oh, uh, okay. In that we've all met each other physically. Well, I was at the cottage, or cottage, the brick house on Saturday and Sunday, so. And now your story's Sixth falling seat. apart. <laughs> and he already off to a Already. <laughs> uh, no, Lamar, thank you so much for coming on, man. I, I'll tell you what, I feel like this, the, this week in YouTube thing, obviously, listen, and we had people in the chat room making the jokes of like, well, what's next? This week in my space? Uh, but you guys are, have such a great chemistry, you, Leo, and Chad, that I feel like yeah. you've, you've really, like, it, I almost feel like it's going to succeed almost in spite of the name, which is sort of eminently 
parodyable. And I say that as a show on the Twit Network with a terrible name. <laughs> No, I think I think it's going to do great. Yeah, I mean, we we played with the name for a long time, but it, Leo decided on, a, on a this week in YouTube. You got the this week in Google. So yeah, I, hey, it's just it's just a name. But I I think we like you said we got good chemistry. Uh, Chad Chad is awesome. Chad just had to start making some darn videos. Woo! So Wait, is that part of the bit? Like you're gonna start yeah. vlogging again? I really want to start vlogging again. I I unfortunately, huh? Naked vlogging? No, I'm not gonna. You want to do, you wanna do an anniversary video for your one, naked vlog? That was one time. That was in what? That was May, right? The naked vlog. Oh, what? Yeah, it, it's, it's almost time. Uh oh. Couple year anniversary. Yeah. You no. can revisit it. You can go back to your parents' no. house. I mean, you know what? <laughs> Thank God, dang it. <laughs> Maybe the Make it five year anniversary of the naked vlog. <laughs> And and he has had no extra definition to his chest since then. No, no. no I, I still like have that got, whiteboard he's some, too. He's got some works. Um, oh Jesus! This whole these next, I say next three weeks, but this whole chunk of three weeks, last week, this week, and next week, are have just been. There's going to be a tip on Tuesday, <laughs> and a spotlight on Thursday. <laughs> so, some someone is going to upload this to some site dealing with twinks. So great. Uh, from what so, I've heard, and that's not good. Uh, filming a vlog, I wanted to. It just didn't. There was never really an appropriate time. Um, <laughs> There's never an appropriate time for this. Chad. Stuff, and we tell you. I'll tell fun. you what. I would watch a video really? of you mocking like, yourself in this yeah, video. Yeah. That would be very funny. This week in Twinks. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, stop it! <laughs> oh no, that's no, they, just inappropriate. They said it. They said it. I just, I just read it. You can't repeat everything they say in the chat room. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right, look, if you're unclear about all this, go to the BBpedia. <laughs> <laughs> you'll notice that there's a schedule written, and you'll see here the schedule is every Tuesday you get a tip. It's just a quick snack for your week. Every Thursday yeah. you get a spotlight. The spotlight is more open-ended than the tip. The first Saturday of every month you get there's a course. And, I uh, read that differently yeah. as first Saturday of every mouth. <laughs> what know what that means? Flea cycle, you'll get a version update, and where Chad will go deep in a new, new version to speak about it. When a spring creeper blossoms, you'll get a game on parody. Writers get too lazy to pre-record episodes. We'll be live from this bedroom and uh, have some <laughs> Indonesian guy edit it. And uh, then, of course, there is let me this down Cheeto Summer Special. Not to be confused. With the winter or the Minecraft weather report. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, I don't know where this stops being the actual schedule and where <laughs> it begins parody. Because it all seems real to me. Yeah, it is. Chad, sit up straight. No, Come on. I can't. You, you listen, I, I, you, did, you, had, you had another great episode. You carried another episode of this show. I Chad, think we deserve Wikipedia um, entries now since we've been on all these shows. I've always wanted a Wikipedia page. Well, I mean, a BBpedia page could be in your future. I don't know. We don't cover, We don't handle Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, with it there, my cat is scratching the door, but I don't want to open it up because I'm naked. <laughs> 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 this is grade A vlogging. How is this wrong? <laughs> this is why people subscribe. That was the moment. That was the moment. <laughs> that was all I wanted was that moment. Tony, edit this in. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, understand this though, right? Oh, like, Chad, I'm, I feel bad. That for you. was that oh. was the origin story of Chad. Was I'm naked just in saying a this. <sighs> there. That happened is... before you hired me, Brian. There. Dude, I would have hired you twice over if you had played that. To begin with. <laughs> that should have been your intro video. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. There is pornography that would that is not as sexually exciting to a certain demographic <laughs> than that video is to the gay community. Um, <laughs> with everyone there, my cat is scratching at the door, but I don't want to open it up because I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> the genuine exasperation is what totally makes no, sense. No, that's because Chad is the reason why we love Chad and why you are a, a great personality. I'm not even screwing with you, Chad. Is that you have a, <laughs> a honest, open personality. That you have, you have no reservation between, you have no wall between you and the audience. And that was why you were good at vlogging. That's mm -hmm. why you're good at hosting shows now. Uh, that yep. is... I, I'm now. I now feel regret for forcing you to. Why? Uh, Phil. Phil is filling the chat room with fabs. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Look, Chad. There is no way. Not one way that we would possibly. <laughs> in the chat room. Hell yeah, Phil. <laughs> Chad. Jamie oh. called. Jamie called me hot earlier. Jamie well, now look at her. Yeah. She's overheating. I don't know if it's her. Oh. Chad? Oh. Yes. Oh my. Yes. Brian. <laughs> you belong with us in the 1960s. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, I love you sincerely. And if you have a problem with any of this, just the safety word is stop it, Brian. Seriously. No, no. This is this is hilarious. This it's it uh, I it's it's I had forgotten that it was that ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> Dude, that moment of like, oh, my cat is scratching and I don't want to open the door because of me. Hold on. Let me, somebody once said this better than I did. Let's go to that Abraham Lincoln. We were having a whole bunch of fun and there was never really a time when it was like, you know what? This would be a great time to whip out a vlog. Um, whip it out. <laughs> and I was scratching the door, but I don't want to open it up because I'm naked. <laughs> you are so exasperated. You're so, this is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you see cheek? Well, you see, you get pretty close there. No, you see, you see, there's his. All right, the fabs are getting out of control right now. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? I'm I'm Set opening the door to let the cat in. Huh? I and, thought this was frozen. It's made it even more awkward because Brian is like. Damn. Wait, why would you put the cat there? You know. For You're the naked. Um. <laughs> Wait, was this staged? No, 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 no. Okay. No, I, huh? that, that was just a response I could say. I just got, just got the cat. If that, if that cat jumped, you, you would be in some serious trouble. There's a cat. I just picked her up and put her in my lap. Um. <laughs> Uh, this, this is, is of... like Tobias Funke levels of double so, entendres. So, so great. Um, we had so much fun. Um, I went to. I like how I like how I take the naked oh, vlog and actually do a real vlog with it. Like, I, <laughs> just naked. Just did the that. vlog. That's amazing. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Why did somebody know. send me this? I don't even get it. I don't know. It looks scary. Nobody gets it. All right, screw you. You failed, person. Yes. You said. Uh, people are saying that Jamie is not a boy or a girl. He's a Lannister. Ah, they're already asleep. What's this comment I was looking at? Um, I don't know if I could live in Boston, but I could definitely. I could live in Boston. Um, See, it's apt for now. <laughs> it's uh, it's very current news. Did, did you, hold it, hold it. Did you say? I don't know if I could live in Boston, but uh, I could definitely live in Boston. <laughs> Yeah, he said that. I was a very indecisive individual at that point in my life. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't know if I'd like it a whole bunch, but I could. it's definitely a step up from New York. Um, it's just too crazy. Yeah. Um, you hear that, New York? I don't like to have you. Oh, this would be a really long vlog. Um, and then I went to the sister. <laughs> You're yeah. just so normal here. Ace. I'm uh, telling you, it's just a normal vlog. Is, uh, there's nothing to see here. <laughs> oh, there's uh, plenty to see. On the iPad. Jerry and face this. Face <laughs> this. Be a man and face this. Uh, first Put it days. down. Come Wait, on. Don't split screen do me it. with him. What are you doing? Playing, paying your bills. Yeah. Chad, come on. Okay. Now, what, what? what do you What do you think about when you're watching this? I think that this was five years ago, and this was a kid who thought that this was his only option in life was uh -huh. to upload YouTube videos and become famous on YouTube. And it you. seemed to work out. No, it didn't. Why not? Yeah, because you have a career after in this, the media. Yes, but after this, I decided to actually go get a real job. Uh, I tried. I tried this. It didn't give me any views. 
And so then I decided to go work for Brian. So there's like a bitterness to this? No, 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 no. You no, got no. naked and paraded no, around you, with your sexy you asked, chest? You asked what I'm thinking. I'm yeah. thinking this didn't work out for okay. a reason. So you're, it was bad. Okay, no, here's the thing. All right, and I'm serious. Let me, let me blow your mind here, Chad. Uh, people think that they succeed despite their failures. And I believe this sincerely. And I'm talking to anyone who is trying to make something work and, uh, and is having difficulty. Uh, to, to you, person who's failing, I say, good. You don't succeed in spite of your failures. You succeed because of your failures. That's the only way. Like, the whole time you're doing this, Chad, like, the two years before, I was doing Brian Brushwood on the Road, the most popular video of which is at 5,000 views to this very day. Scam School now hits up over 2 million views a month. Brian Brushwood on the Road, nobody ever watched. And it didn't matter because it's... Here's what you do. Here's the thought experiment. Sit down with anyone in your imagination who you truly respect and ask them, have you ever failed in an epically awesome scenario? Everybody you respect will tell you harrowing stories of their failure. Uh, for me, it's having fruit, literal fruit thrown at my stage. Like I finish my hour long performance Somebody throws a goddamn rotten orange at my stage, and I'm like, holy shit, people do that thing now, right? Yeah. For, for Penn and Teller, it's performing in the middle of a Philadelphia race riot because they can't afford to not do the gig. Like, they're in the middle, like, there's a full-on race riot happening, and they're like, well, if we finish the show, there's no way that they can take the money away. You don't succeed in spite of your failures. You succeed because of them. So something like this, strongly encourage you. Embrace. This is your early street performing days. And right. tell people the lessons you learned because of it. It's right. also interesting and funny. That was beautiful. Like, the thing is, no, is I, it's not like... It, I, I'm not ashamed. Yeah. Like, I'm, like I want to say that. It's like, like, it's not that... You're just burying I'm not your head mad. In your iPad I'm not because you really want to pay your light bill. Right. Um, it, it's just. It's like. It's like yeah. It was a different me. I don't know. Well, of course it is. Yeah. No one's saying that's the same guy. Yeah, I know. You're. Why are you changing the the shot? He's obviously the same person. Uh, <laughs> no, of course. Yeah. It, it's it's an old version of right. you, and it's hilarious. It's right. really funny. And we and Brian's right. I mean, we all have the skeletons. I mean, I did number one. Before I did anything that was in any way funny or silly, you know, I, I met Brian right. through doing the Magic Podcast, the initial idea for which was that we did many podcasts for every major Magic celebrity, including Chris Angel. So mm -hmm. I did the official Chris Angel podcast that had a Chris Angel bumper at the beginning that said, this is Justin Robert Young, the ultimate mind freak. Uh, with the Chris Angel Watch <laughs> podcast. Uh, and that's still online. People can go and get that. It's obviously, yeah. that's the thing. Is my, my embarrassment, although very silly, and it's a very silly, stupid podcast, but it's nowhere near as funny as you <sighs> make it, yeah. which is hilarious yeah. and amazing. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. That, yeah, that took, that took balls, Chad, literally. <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> no, it did. What I wouldn't have say? done it. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, it's, it's like I see this and it's, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm ready to start up again. It's funny because I'm actually sort of glad that Lamar could, like, you know, we do now a show about YouTube and you he can, can see I tried YouTube for a while, for a long time. You did good, though. I mean, like, you were a guy who had a following. Back in 08, I had around 5,000 subscribers, which was well, a That was big for a back bit, then, yeah. dude. That so was nothing to spit at. Back back then, that yeah. those are the people I was looking up to. Yeah, the, the my, my mentors were the ones who have five thousand subscribers. Right. right, you could have mentored me. You blew it. <laughs> so Lamar, you could have seen that video and been like, "This guy's got it going on. This is what I need to do. Yeah. Naked vlog." Dude, if I did it with this body, it would have no. I would have been banned immediately. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'm trying to find Justin that original. 
Uh, the Chris Angel I'm, thing? No, I'm looking for the, the, the me and you interview. Yeah, the talking. Well, specifically the first the one. Talking we had, Head TV one. That's what I'm looking for. Talking Heads TV, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Talking Head TV singular, but uh, it should still be there. Yeah, well, that's what I'm looking for. It, it uh, comes up periodically whenever I search for stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Talking. So, uh, gentlemen, real quick, um, are we at the end of the show? Because I have not We're eaten done. at all today. Okay. Get out of here. Look, we I, I, I've done. I've been doing shows all, all day, and I'm like, I I just realized I didn't eat dinner. I need to do that. Any Thanks, Lamar. time. You dinner need is fun. Yes. Go. <laughs> See go. you tomorrow on Twig. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> at one p.m. Sheesh. One, 1 okay. p.m. So you get to sleep okay. in a little bit. Yeah, I'm e I'm either gonna start playing this or I'm gonna keep watching Dollhouse. Now I've seen Dollhouse already, but I'm going back to watch it again. Uh Josh Whedon, anybody yeah. seen that? Oh no, I'm familiar. Sure. Yeah. 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 I I've been I've been really into that on Netflix. So I'm probably gonna watch a few episodes tonight, fall asleep. Thank you so and, much, uh, Lamar. You were an amazing hey, sport. You all you all are great. Thank you. Uh maybe one day I'll come back on if you of will have me. Dude, anytime, you name it. All right, cool. All right, and good luck with the album, dude, uh, Saturday on Amazon and iTunes, right? Sure. Thank yes. All right, I will support you, promise. All right. Here we go. Looks like Alpha Cheese has got it. Thanks, Lamar. Right. See you, yeah. Lamar. Peace. Talking Head TV, T-A-L-K-I-N-G. Uh, it looks like uh, what I was actually doing while on the iPad was setting up a bit.ly to a oh, PayPal oh, account. Yeah. <laughs> what? Here. Go. For what? It's just like, you know, I don't have a bit.ly set up to like a PayPal account. So I'm going to do that now. So, all right, here was the idea with Talking Head TV uh, Is that I would do. Apple's netbook? Yeah, so I would do uh, interviews with people about topical uh, things. So it was in the warehouse in Margate, Florida. And uh, we had this little setup there. And I was doing all the switching uh, myself. The problem was, as you can see, it, it really didn't, you know, attract much views. And we really, it's funny. The thing is, like, now with Diamond Club, it could actually be a funny idea or a good idea. It's just. Wow. Were you, like, Photoshopping all of these? No. These were, we had the setup. It was all uh, cam twist. It just always looked preset. the same. No, look, look at that. 1,000 views. <laughs> yeah. And also, you can see my rapidly changing facial hair. You did not. Yeah, I mean, you did a ton of these, Justin. Oh, no, we were doing. The goal was to do like one a day. I thought I was special. Uh, and then we would cut them up. So it's like we would have the things that were big right there. And then we would have other. Uh, you were constantly looking for the viral hit. Well, and I'll tell you, we actually had a few that wound up becoming. Uh, in the context of things, go to go to video. Go to what are you looking for, Brian? That was the first time I met Veronica. Interviewed Veronica for talking at TV. Are you just oh. scrolling through? Because you can go to the video tab and search by most popular if you're looking for the Gary V. Did you have Gary V. on there? Yep. Holy crap! I had a uh, fake Steve Jobs. Before or after fake Steve Jobs died? It was before he died. Before actual Steve Jobs died. Pretty sure fake Steve Jobs. Oh, Here we go. Am I the first? You might have been. I am. Holy crap. This Four is Four years ago. No, Maybe it's a long year after the fateful naked blog. <laughs> vlog. Vlog. Oh, my God. What happened? Oh, just here close it. All right, here we go. Holy cow. Hey, everybody, and welcome. Our guest right now is the host of Revision 3 Scam School, which is available, of course. Look at how clean shaven and respectful you are. Well, I actually don't look all that different than I do now, but that doesn't mean that there wasn't a lot of facial more, hair. Well, I guess I have the I have the big the big white temples now. So yeah, you trademark. He saw his podcast rocket up the charts by way of chicanery. We are speaking to <laughs> Brian Brushwood, the uh, the icon himself. How you doing, Brian? I'm doing really good, Justin. How are you doing? All right, this is June 11th, 2008, which means almost five. It's it's 
what, two months shy of being five years ago. Wow. This is before we met at Halloween Horror Nights. This is our yeah. first video appearance side by side. It is, yeah. Uh, we, you were joining us from the, your home in, in Austin. Right? That's my old house, right? There, there's my uh, that same uh, that same main machine that's now in my kitchen is there in my living room in the old house. <laughs> yes, correct. All right, fantastic. <laughs> well, here's what I got to know. Yes, correct. Where did this idea come from? Where did the eye scan? Give me the, the beginning. All right, by the way, here's what I remember from this interview is I remember that what I wanted to say was I stole the idea from Ron Paul, but okay. I don't want to look like a Ron Paul weirdo. So I'm going to distance myself and just say I heard about it. Here we go. Hatchings of these ideas. We had, uh, we had a, uh, a live dignation event uh, in New York City at Studio B in Brooklyn, and I knew that I would be performing for a thousand of the most connected people out there. These are fans of Dig. These are fans of Dignation. And I was thinking there's just got to be something, Those people are big. Uh, some way to corral that energy. And then I had the idea, actually, I don't know if you remember, but uh, when, when Ron Paul was running for president. Did you ever hear with this presidential candidate named Ron Paul? Sure. He's this guy, crazy they guy. Schedule these money bombs, and they would all at once send, uh, send in $100 at the exact same time. And then make the news because he generated six million dollars in a day or something like that. And I exactly. Thought, I wonder if you could game iTunes the exact same way. So we hatched Operation I Scam, a coordinated plan to attack iTunes at exactly the same moment, so that for one hilarious second we could be at the top <laughs> of the charts. Oh, why don't you laugh at everything you? You, you know. How much, especially with a crowd like that, that is somewhat knowledgeable about the, the, the tech side, and obviously Vision 3 is huge with podcasts, so they have to have some insight into how to put that stuff together. Uh, how much do you actually know in terms of gaming stuff? How I mean, long can you go between questions that are very simple, yeah, moron? Very little, actually. It was mainly kind of a theory, because when I first, when, when Scam School first launched, somebody called and said we, we were Man, number one. dude, just real quick. Like, look how deferential I'm being to you. Like, it's like, like, I am totally like, you're the media icon. And I'm just hoping you won't hit me with the hard questions. And I remember at the time thinking like, I hope he doesn't hit me with some kind of hard questions. I'm dealing with the media now. Like, what's going on? What, what were you worried about me saying? No idea. All I know is that the media like, is what, always. What hard questions, questions are there for you at this point? Like, like, how come in four years you'll be reviled as the Internet's demon? Exactly. It's like, oh, how come in five years when we're best friends you'll re re reveal the invisible deck? Can you comment about how we're best friends in five years? <laughs> That's what it was like. One in technology, because all of the Revision 3 programs are technology. Uh, and uh, I was like, well, what does that mean? And I talked to people, and they say, well, that means... Switch the off you, it's you idiot! Go to the full screen of Brian! Uh, Go what? I'm yelling at myself, sorry. Uh, <laughs> the most in this four- to six-hour period. In oh, fact, finally! Uh, Jesus Christ! Exactly how the... Are you, are, you, are you arguing at yourself from five years ago? Yes. About switching this is, by the way, what happens. <laughs> it's... It's... Yeah. <laughs> of how often they reiterate and what the decay rate is of new subscriptions, that kind of stuff. How often they reiterate? That's when subscribers call back to iTunes and explain in further detail, like, when I subscribe to this, what I really meant to do was subscribe to this. I just want to reiterate that that's all right. Sure. So I got a little bit of the insight, and I understood that it had to do with not how many people actually watched your show, but how fast the rate of new subscriptions were coming on at yeah, any given. Alpha Cheese points out that you and, should uh, be doing a takedown of my switching. <laughs> my revision three was okay with me doing it was because I, I think uh, this is an interesting experiment. Everyone in tech who I, I should. said, yes. oh man, tell me how that works out. I'm really interested to know if it's even possible to game the system. Especially with, with, with revision three, has anything like this been done by them or have they heard of anything? Oh, like no, this no. I, I, think, uh, I think we also caught, uh, caught a loophole here. If any <laughs> other program were to and do cheap way to the top, <laughs> and make sure you stay on the two shots so people know that you're in charge of the interview. Sure. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Oh my god. By the way, I'm the interviewer and you're the interviewee. Let's just keep that two shot just up for a little bit. Yeah. Keep the uh keep the icon over my head so you know right. who's so saying yeah. head TV. Looks so, like I'm the one with talking head TV. In our brand to try something outrageous and stupid like this. And and the great thing is is you know, kinda like Penn and Teller. Uh, we can lie and be proud about it because, you know, be, hey, dude, we're scamming our way. We're scam school. Duh. Yeah. yeah. What else did you expect? Now, exactly. I, I know. In <laughs> fact, <laughs> oh, geez. Geez. What a cut up. <laughs> There's a funny how in the future, you'll start to live stream and then you'll select a co-host out of the blue. Somebody who's willing to show up every Tuesday night. And uh, the two of you will come up with horse crap shenanigans that will eventually lead to an album called Night Attack 2. You want to comment on that, Brian? Coming out April 20th, 2013. Exactly. This happened that you were very surprised with kind of uh, the aftermath. I mean, this wasn't just one quick second. Uh, you know, if you can give us an update as of the recording of this yeah, interview, it, how scams it, it will do it. amazing. The, the timeline went something like uh, Hatch the Idea a couple days before the live performance. Did the live performance and put the put the idea out, and almost instantly it took on a life of its own. I started getting calls from people like you and and uh, uh, folks over at the people Magic like you and uh, your and people ended up uh, uh, getting an email from <laughs> people Jay like you. You're, you're kind. Of gig, now, if there's one thing that we can all learn is that Brian's hair has gotten shorter as mine has gotten grayer. <laughs> and really, that's the only difference. Or a few hours beforehand to get it on the front page and build up uh, the enthusiasm for it. So I essentially spent like an entire day just shooting out emails to everyone, begging people to put the word out on their Twitter feeds. And I think Twitter is a big reason why this thing pulled off because you think have, have you I have 5,000 followers on Twitter, new Justin. On Twitter. <laughs> have you heard of the Twitter before? I think, I think it's, it's going to be a big deal. Just keep an eye out for that. One tweet to, to, to your people who send it to other people and word gets around. Somebody on the forums likened it to uh, elementary school. If everybody decided to drop their pencil at exactly 10, 13 <laughs> to mess with the, no. and I think that's part of what made it fun. But uh, but before I knew it, we'd made the front page of Dig. There was almost 1,500 because Dig. That was popular. That, Remember Dig? <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous idea of trying to game the system, uh, and uh, and then we all struck at six o'clock. And I got to admit, for the first six hours, I was pretty disappointed. I thought, oh, man, it didn't work. We only bumped up to maybe set number seven in tech or whatever. And then my brother called me a little after midnight, freaking out, saying that we uh, that we had hit number three overall. And uh, we did shoot ourselves in the foot in that we went up against the Apple keynote. That See, might again, just so you know, I'm still in charge of this interview. <laughs> but again, Wait, what's that? He keeps cutting the two shot like, like, I don't know, like. To reestablish, to reestablish, like, hey, I by ask. the way, I'm still here. Just, and by uh, the way, you know how like how a sack of poop I am. That like I switch, I I I want to switch back to me smiling, but instead I switch back to me and then start smiling. <laughs> like my brain can't process both. Where it's like start smiling so you look good coming back, and then that's so all. I just go click. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can relate with that. Yeah, and in general, I was very happy with how it worked out. Oh, and you, you had mentioned the amazing part to me was once we got on there, I, I was convinced, okay, well, we've hit that oh, number. Brian, so Jesus, how long are these answers? <laughs> Listen, he's only going to get to do a few interviews in his life, <laughs> Justin. The yeah. Tech, but in six, yeah. <laughs> they, it's been staying up there. They're still in the top 100 of all podcasts. Which we weren't before. <laughs> Which, <laughs> all right, screw it. And we're still in the top ten in tech. So in your face, other podcasts. <laughs> Which we weren't before. Yeah, we were suck like, no, it. I think the mere uh, fact. Dude, question oh, from Justin. Uh, so was YouTube on your radar? And you're like, no, screw YouTube. And just I'll, like, so is, Brian, um, Scam School's a podcast. Yes. Also, I like to do other things, and we've gamed the system. Dude, right there, Alpha Cheese nailed it. He said, this was Scam School Brian's 15 minutes of fame. That's exactly what I thought it was at the moment. I was God, like, this... my piercing creep eyes. <laughs> you look very Indian right now. What's <laughs> so popular? I to check it out. Yeah. yeah. Not look very Indian. No. There we go. I mean, next time, I guess the only thing that you have to avoid is... Is fucking dying a podcast of wait. a guy called Talking Head TV. <laughs> 
uh, you know, the Big Apple keynote, and then the one you're... Uh, the Apple keynote, and um, I just want to ask questions so I can fill the space and also smile. Eh. Class from This American <laughs> Life, right? He was the only was guy you could have... the only guy, yeah. Ingratiate yourself to the guest. Eh. Well, I wanted to make it clear that this isn't something people should do just for Brian, even though clearly they're doing it just for Brian. But I tried to... I. I made arch nemeses out of god done god god, god done, uh, god done. <laughs> hey man i'm not cursing i'm just saying that god's done he's finished his Over. work <laughs> god done. he gave up <laughs> wait did you robert play? underscore fat 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 <laughs> uh son of a bitch man what a smart <laughs> asshole uh you know, The Economist and NPR, because there's like 12 NPR podcasts there at the top. And Oprah's got like 12 podcasts in there. So the whole thing was, the, the whole framework was, I'm going to take you down, Oprah. <laughs> and uh, I think that, okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, let's recreate that. Oh, so anyway, the whole framework was, I'm going to take you down, Oprah. <laughs> Great one, Brian. Great one. <laughs> I'm not even born yet. <laughs> Oh, Chad gets the line of the night. <laughs> Although you're right, NPR, uh, This American Life, escaped. We crushed everyone except for Ira Glass, so I'll take him down. Well, next time. All right, so the final question I have to ask you. Oh, my God, dude. Is there any way that's how this would end nowadays? I'd be like, yeah, so I didn't get Ira Glass. And then, <laughs> nowadays it would be like, so seriously, you want to have Ira kill? <laughs> Like, because I know a guy who can get a hold of a dude. I know, and I know him too. Hi, Brian, it's me, Ira Sockman. <laughs> Ira Glass is my brother. Ira Glass. You think all Iras are separate? Come on, we're all part of the fa same family. Is Hi, there a Ryan. I crossed your dreams. Who? Any idea? Ira Glass. Is <laughs> any hints? I didn't think there would be, but so many Man. people... Oh, this is you asking if there will be a sequel. Okay, this is this is awesome because this is you asking on our first video. Uh, yeah, connect us side by side on video for the first time right. together. Right, you say like, so uh, is there going to be a sequel? Any kind of uh, will you ever do something where you are targeting a system with a bunch of your fans to all do one thing at the same time? <laughs> Because this seems like a real crapper of a plan, and you should never repeat it. You is, is there a sequel? Ice Game 2? Any ideas? Any Ice hits? Game 2? Any ideas? <laughs> smile, smile. <laughs> Brian just goes into like, Justin, I hear where you're coming from, and the answer is yes. Five years later, I can announce that the sequel to the original Operation Ice Scam is... Night Attack 2 coming out on 420, available on Amazon and iTunes, and definitely go to iTunes. But before that, we're going to sell three books, two uh, yeah. different uh, CDs, and some wine a little bit after that. Yes, but, but none of those count. I think there would be, but so many people have asked that it makes me think that maybe we'll coordinate something else out there you know maybe we'll coordinate maybe. something else out there maybe, maybe. Some big media appearance that, that we could tie it with in the future but uh, for right now we're gonna lay low for a little bit and uh for a little for bit a solid five years <laughs> yeah that's exactly who knows you know if we need to we'll pull it out we'll whip yeah, it out yeah, yeah. just like now, in a naked vlog now God, what a disgusting tone of voice I have. It's just repulsive. It curdles <laughs> milk. It's just so like, well, well, right, well, I'll tell you what, I, well, I think you're really a great guy, Brian. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus. All right, let's hear the rest of this. Chinese. Now. And then eventually you'll roll back in. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our guest has been Brian. Brock. This is like ladies and gentlemen, yeah, both of you in the audience. I know the lady <laughs> and the gentleman, my girlfriend at the time, and Andrew who was watching this. 
<laughs> this is like the most patronizing, like, like, oh, well, it's great you told your story, and we're wrapped up. Can I point out that this thing has 732 views five years after I did it? Absolutely. And five likes. Now, by the way, like, us will, just playing it right now has gotten it more oh, I'm views sure it's got it. in yeah, the five years views. it's existed. Uh, this, I mean, that whole project was just like, I mean, it was, it, it's, it's so funny because like the, what we wanted at the beginning of it is like exactly what we have now. Like if I said, I'm quitting the go game and all I'm going to do is interview the top newsmakers of the day and do three interviews about top current news. Like that's something that like people I think would almost want, like that would almost be a successful thing. It was just. It came before, and uh, to be honest, though, I mean, it was it was good. The repetition was good. It was a sweaty warehouse, though. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, okay, look. Uh, let's see. A peanut bubbling through space for 11 seconds is more interesting than an interview with a magician. No I doubt. Would say, yes. Uh, all right. I'll tell you what. I think I'm going to call it. If we're done with that video, I think I'm going to call it. TV. As well as uh, throughout the country, right? You're still uh, you're touring, uh, doing shows. Still touring, right? doing lots and lots of touring. All lots. right. So in your face, people. All oh, right. Yeah. And lots of touring. <laughs> so <it> makes <laughs> no right. leave without a laugh. <laughs> go ahead and no. take that with you, Brushwood. Shwood.com, right? Yeah, Shwood.com. That's the best. That's the place to go for uh, the latest tour schedule, and that's S H W O O D. Those are the last six letters of Brian Brushwood. All right. Well, thank you very much, Brian. You got it. <laughs> I like that. You got it. You got it. <laughs> wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. The flip side is sure dot com. <sighs> I wasn't even born yet. Okay, look, uh, Justin. Yeah. I am going to go live on, Ju on Justin. Yeah. And play the shortest of all of our tracks. I think we, all right. That's the intro track, right? Number one, there's, the I need Brant to get me the, what's it called? Um, the Aphes? I need Brant to get me the, the Captain Morgan stuff, because as soon as I get home from Oakland, I want to send out that first email. Yeah. So do me a favor. You decide which one you want to go out tonight. Because I have it all set up with the with the email list. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I don't care. Whatevs. The second it's, shortest. I'm uh, going to... All right. Hey, uh, DJ Boogie Monster. Ruin him update. We still haven't signed the contract because we've been obsessed with Night Attack 2 stuff. We're going to sign the contract. We continue the long slog to ruin him uh, after this weekend when we're done with Night Attack 2 stuff. Yeah. We're going to sign up for that email list, nsfwshow.com slash album. That is nsfwshow.com slash album. Isn't that right, Brian? Yes, indeed, <laughs> sir. <laughs> well, I first got the idea to sign a contract from, um, <laughs> uh, you, you remember <laughs> Ron Paul did a thing where he signed a contract? Well, uh, I thought maybe that would work on the internet. <laughs> Ryan, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get naked. Oh, I'm Ryan. Fucking head TV, everybody. Uh, all right, I'm out of here. I love you guys. Bye. Wait, do we have a movie draft minute? Do we? I don't think we do. I think, they, I think they were just calling for it. Yeah. It's All time right. to Love go you. and I'm so depressed and I'm gonna the rest of the week in bed until the that next until the That only took a few seconds. And it's a dove. The show is through and it breaks my heart Cause I just can't bear to be apart from Brian and Justin of NSFW. Oh, I'd rather die in a fire. Then you spend a single moment without Brian Brushwood 
Oh, I'd rather be dipped in honey and fed to a big ant pile Than to do without Justin Robert Young for even a little while Oh, NSFW I love you NSFW I love